Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn for Ravens Lover. Welcome back, all you to BFL. Hey, guys. This is our first video after BFL reaching 20,000 subs. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so excited, so happy. You have deserved it. Thank you. And, and thank you guys for supporting him. He's and thank friend. you for doing all these videos with me and being such a doll. Thank me. you. Today, we have two fragrances from the House of Renia Perfumes. We have Oud Rain and Kisses Rain. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Brooklyn Fragrance Lover line for me i was kindly sent these perfumes from the company thank you but all opinions are our own so we'll just get that out of the way right at the beginning this is new for you as well yeah yeah i've never heard of them so i'm excited you have heard of the perfumer that would be daniel hosier oh yes love I his have. work he has a fantastic line i love his line and this line is really good too it was founded by renier rodriguez mendez he has been inspired by art all of his life He's actually an artist of plastic, mm -hmm. artistic pieces. He's been influenced by famous paintings throughout his whole life. He had different periods that he loves, like surreal and romantic. And each one of his perfumes are based on one painting or another. I don't know which and each one are, but they are. The line came out in 2016. There were two. It was Black Rain and Crystal Rain. This year they released two. Kisses Rain and Oud Rain. Mm. He definitely is inspired by Rain. Yes. <laughs> Actually, on Fagranska, it also says that some people can smell the rain. Mm -hmm. Some people can actually feel the heat of the sun in a painting. Just really get into it and it really speaks to them. He has both. So that's why his perfume line is based around art I think it's it's beautiful when people get in well i love art myself in all different forms so um perfume is an art um so it's really absolutely it's i totally really, of course nice amen to see that. which one should we start let's with? start with oud rain because that's the one that's just coming out here's the box up close inside so it's the bottle but we took it out already it sits inside in there, like that. Can you see it? No, there you go. Oh, nice and snuggly in there. It's very, it's a tight fit. I didn't very want to, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want to struggle on camera like I always do. Did you see uh, the uh, casual Massey? I was having a little difficulty. And I didn't want to break my nails, so we decided to get a bottle. So we, or. <laughs> there we go. This is the bottle up close. They're 50 mil. How much were they, Euro? Uh, 90, 85. 85 Euros. Euro. Which is That's about 98 five. to 200, I guess, oh. bucks, depending on the current exchange rate. She was just in Russia. She had some business to take care of. <laughs> I was exchanging some rubles. <laughs> That's Cute. what I was doing. Oud rain. The notes for this one are mandarin, mango, pineapple, plum, papaya, oud, sandalwood, nutmeg, saffron, cedar, and cistus. <laughs> I had the same reaction when I sprayed it on my skin when the package arrived. <laughs> It has a wonderful, mm -hmm. juicy opening. I gotta tell you, to me, well, I love passion fruit, and I eat quite a lot of it, and this smells like just a whole tray of fresh passion fruit, which is, I guess, all those notes that you have mentioned um, put together, but this is so bright and juicy. delicious and juicy. And Very juicy, but then... I to drink it, but then it has that, that depth of that oud inside that kind of keeps the whole fruit skeleton so much more pronounced like just when you think it's gonna be like really really sweet and fruity it has that really nice dryness to it that comes through the opening is juicy it's as limited. all heck as all heck what is that <laughs> can't cross on my channel right <laughs> it's juicy af it's beautiful it's not artificial smelling or overly sweet smelling but it's definitely fruity yeah, it's very bright. That's it. and it hits you, you know, as as a nice, clean kind of fruit basket, more of on that tropical side. The oud comes yeah. through, and it's a little band-aidy, but not overly so, because that would put me off. This is 
just the right amount of that band-aidy. You know what I mean when I say that. Yeah, it has that kind of a little bit of a medicinal sharpness to it, but it's so subtle that I don't think it really hits you. Like it's not like, um, and I love Montals. This is in no way bashing Montals, ooh, uh, but every time you smell Montal, there's like that strong medicinal note that hits you. And here, you know, there is oud, but it's so subtle. And pleasant to the nose. Yeah, really non-offensive. This is probably one of the easiest fruit. The dry down, you get the nice saffron and sandalwood. Mm -hmm. So basically it's a real juicy fruit basket, a basket made of sandalwood and saffron mm -hmm. and a pinch of oud right in the middle. I like that. It, it's not too much oud for oud phobics. For me, I'm not the biggest oud fan, but it's done well here. I got about six to seven hours on skin. Projection was good for the first hour or two, but that opening man is really, and it ends totally different. The fruits do go away by the end, mm -hmm. but it's like mouth-watering, that juicy opening. I love it. I mean, I love Let me scents. So this is a really nice kind of, this is just really nice the nutmeg is coming out on you too. Yeah, it's definitely getting more spicier on me. Which I just learned on the, the last video that I did that nutmeg is used for seductive type of appeal. Yes. So on me it comes out even more. Good one right here, very <laughs> enjoyable. I, I love juicy openings and this fits the bill for me perfectly. This is really good. The next one, also released this year, is called Kisses Rain. Here is the bottle up close. This has rose, chamomile, violet, jasmine, leather, patchouli, musk, orange blossom, and ambergris. Hmm. I'm gonna put this on my skin as well. Mm. What do you think these things are on the bottom? Like raindrops? I don't know, but they're kind of cool. Yeah, I think I guess are, but they um, it's like a really nice sensory touch to it. While you smell that, I just want to show you a clip that was prepared for the launch of Oud Rain. Watch. So what do you get from this one? Well, one of the first feelings that I get is just this like comforting calmness. Like really just beautiful and smooth and creamy warmth. Chamomile has a soothing quality. Yeah. I get the floral components, but they're not too heady. It's not like a rose bomb or a jasmine yeah, bomb. Subtle. It's subtle. Mixed very nicely, yeah, it's and that and not overly heavy, nice. which is a good thing for guys. But then you have that leather coming out, and that yeah. amber gray, so that anamolic base starts kind of creeping through. It's a darker scent compared to this one. This is brighter, and then winds up a little, you know, spicy and darker ish. This is this is a rainy lot day. More, it's like a rainy day. Yeah, and this is more. It's definitely more sexy. It has that that depth to it. You know, this is really beautiful, and I can totally see it as. Um, Know, it's something that you kind of wear maybe in the evening. I get like a garden on a rainy day type of feel from that one. Patchouli is is masking the floral components, or or has the has them in its grip. I like that. What's going on today? It's it's the artist theme of this company. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I like that. I really like but, that. I'm giving a description. I love it. The no, florals really are there, it. but it's wrapped in patchouli. Now I can see it. Smell it. Can you see it? I can see it. I can smell it. I can hear it. This is really, you know, it's growing on me. At the first whiff, it wasn't like a scent that just goes like, wow. Like the other one just kind of hits me. Excuse me one second. Her eyes lit up when she first smelled this one, then, yeah. then that one. But this one grows on you. But it grows on you for sure. It's not a challenging fragrance. It has. It's dark and not basic, but it's not hard to wear. I like that it has this kind of very masked mystery about it, which is something to me is like to look forward to. Since she loves masks so much, as we all know. Is this true? Stop is that? Is my secret. It was my secret. 
Oh, it's part of who you, it's part of who you are, honey. This is uh, this is really good, and this is definitely something I would put on wearing a mask. <laughs> okay, there you go. So I think from our reactions here that this would be my favorite, and I think this one wore better for you. Yeah, it was just a glue on me. But they're both enjoyable. Yeah. You said that it smelled much better on skin than on the... On the blotter? I was like, okay, it's, it's beautiful. I can see how... I can't call it blotter. I just that. can't get myself to call it blotter. It's a test strip. It's a <laughs> for me. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Well, that's our take on Oud Rain and Kisses Rain from Renia Perfumes. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks to the generosity of Renia Perfumes, we have a sample set of four from the line, the complete line. They look like this. It's a three mil sample, very nicely done. So you can get to know the line for yourselves. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to All Your Bar on Instagram, like and share this video, and leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video of these two perfumes here today. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you have been a subscriber, click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications of future reviews, the content, beautiful ladies at BFL, and all the giveaways and all the fun stuff always here at BFL. Let's get to 50,000 real soon. Thanks so much for watching.